I never thought I'd be the kind of person to do a video about Sonic ships, considering I'm not someone who takes ships seriously, but it's Valentine's Day, so why not? Let's get into this. Before I begin, I do want to say that the Sonic movie is released today, so you can guarantee I've already seen it by the time this video goes up. There will be another video about that, but for now, let's stick with the theme of love and romance in the Sonic world, and address my personal favourite ships. Number 10, Shadow X Maria. Okay, so this one is probably the weirdest ship, which is why I'm putting it at number 10. This was a ship I was in love with back when I was an edgy little teenager, because I just thought it was so sweet. Someone as pure and innocent as Maria being the one thing that Shadow really cared for was just so heartwarming to me. And seeing Shadow crying for her, or just expressing any overall softness because of her, really seemed so... shippy. I've heard some people suggest that Shadow is too old for Maria because Maria is a child, but Shadow was created long after Maria was physically born, so technically Shadow wasn't older, he just seemed older. But I will admit, nowadays I do see them as sibling figures to each other. That's another reason I'm keeping the ship so high. Also, because I'm not too keen on human-animal ships in the Sonic franchise. They don't bother me, they're just something I'm not really a fan of. So let's move on from this one. Number 9, Sonic x Amy from Sonic Boom. I did mention that I did like the portrayal of Sonic and Amy in the Sonic Boom franchise. That's where I felt like they really had some kind of chemistry and mutual heroic respect for each other. When it comes to the rest of the Sonic franchise, I still insist that Amy is just a young fangirl who needs to mature and move on from her feelings. I would have put this as number 10 since Son Amy really isn't a ship I like at all, but I thought it was more likely to be a real ship compared to Shadow and Maria. Plus, it's not as weird as Shadow and Maria. Anyway, I don't have much to really say about this ship, so let's keep going. Number 8. Tails x Cosmo. Another ship which I don't really care about, but I have very few ships that I care about anyway, so I just needed a few fillers. I like Tails and Cosmo as a ship because it just feels like a perfect example of young love when children are first starting to understand what crushes are. It's cute, but again, it's not really my thing. I think the only other reason I like it is because it gives Tails some character growth, which is why I put it a little further down the list. Overall though, I'm not massively in love with this ship. It's just kinda cute and it does have some kind of canonical arc surrounding it. Number 7, Shadow X Rouge. I actually didn't want to put this ship on the list, but compared to what we've already had, I guess I personally do like this one a little more. Probably because I still have a very small soft spot for Shadow. Rouge is someone who would reach out to Shadow, even though to most other characters she's a suave and sassy thief. She showed concern about him in Sonic Heroes when trying to understand if he was an android or not, and she offered to stay by his side no matter what in Sonic 06. Shadow has put his life on the line for Rouge a few times, going back as early as his first appearance in Sonic Adventure 2. And even in Sonic Forces, Infinite was messing with Shadow by pretending to be Rouge. There are definite noticeable hints of care between these two characters, who don't really care for many other people. But the thing is, I still see them more as just friends. Team Dark is a family for Shadow, Rouge and Omega, so I really don't see Shadow and Rouge getting together romantically. It would be sweet, and it would make sense, but at the same time, I just don't think it would be the right thing to do for them both. And that's why this ship almost didn't make the list, because I just see these two as friends or close family members. Number 6, Scourge x Fiona. We're finally entering comic book territory. I think most of my favourite ships do come from the comics, as you're about to see, but the reason I like Scourge and Fiona is because they're an actual couple. They're both bad, but they still look out for each other in their own evil ways. And their overall chemistry is good. Fiona's devotion to Scourge is definitely intriguing too, since it led her to go from good to bad. It led her to ditch her own universe entirely. I wouldn't say it was a healthy couple or anything, but I really just like these two a lot. Number 5, Sonic x Sally. I guess for similar reasons as Fiona and Scourge. I like this couple because it's an actual couple. They went through thick and thin together, in the old Sonic Satayem cartoons and in the Archie comics. And despite their hardships, they got through it all and stuck together. 
It was just a really nice build up to how the couple came to be. But I doubt this relationship could translate to the games or any modern Sonic media. And I don't really like the idea of Sonic having a girlfriend because he's supposed to be a symbol of teen rebelliousness. So despite how pleasant the ship is, it's a little outdated and out of character now, which is why I don't have it closer to the number one spot. Number four, Knuckles x Rouge. This is definitely a weird one to have higher on the list since it's not exactly canon, but I really did think the chemistry between Knuckles and Rouge was interesting in the earlier games. They started off fighting each other in Sonic Adventure 2, but then they helped each other out despite being unwilling to really admit it. In Sonic Heroes, Rouge playfully taunts Knuckles about going after his treasure. This playfulness between them was kind of sweet and them being two treasure hunters just seemed to make the ship even more shippable. So this is definitely a non-canon ship I can get by, but the reason it isn't my top is simply because these aren't characters I care too much about, and there hasn't been a lot of evidence of the ship for about 10 years or so, considering Rouge now primarily interacts with Shadow and Omega. Number three, Antoine X Bunny. All right, here we are in the top three. This is another canon ship which comes from the comics, and I really liked it. First off, I just love how much development Antoine went through, especially from where he started off in the cartoons. He was a bit of an ass and a huge coward, so to see him eventually get stronger and marry a tougher character like Bunny was just super sweet. Plus it allowed him to move on from being a love rival of Sonic when it came to the pair going after Sally in earlier media. Plus Antoine was actually supposed to die for Bunny. He took on Metal Sonic alone and took the full impact of his self-destruction and remained in a serious coma that would alter his life if he ever woke up. That was the end of his story before the Super Genesis wave, and it was an arc that made sense. A cowardly coyote becoming a hero willing to die for his friends and his partner. I just love this couple, okay? Let's move on. Number two, Silver x Blaze. Back to the video games, I really love Silver and Blaze as a couple. Blaze balances Silver's naivety and helps him out when he's down, which I love. They do things together until the end, but this ship isn't actually a canon couple. The reason it's so high is because I do love Silver as a character, and I actually do like Blaze. I think these two would be sweet together, and I'm glad we finally got more interaction between them in Team Sonic Racing. I don't have a whole lot to say about this ship, it's just one I really like. And now finally, to my number one ship. Number one, Shard x Nicole. I don't care if it makes sense or not, this is my OTP. Shard is one of my favourite Eversonic characters, and I never expected to care about Nicole, but the comics fleshed her out so much. No pun intended there. The development between her and Shard, as little as it was, was just so sweet. Nicole had her past of hurting people, and Shard had his past of hurting people. They were both AIs trying to discover love, and, much like Antoine, Shard got himself blown up by Metal Sonic to protect everyone he cared about, and then the world got reset. I don't think there's ever been something more painful than that in any Sonic media, to be honest. But yeah, Shard and Nicole are my favourite couple, and nobody can change my mind. This is probably the one ship on this list that I actually care about passionately. <laughs> Anyway, that was my list of personal 10 favourite Sonic ships. What are your favourites? Let me know in the comments below. I'd say have a happy Valentine's Day, but if you're alone and insecure about it, I don't want to remind you. Instead, happy Sonic Movie Day everyone. I'm Lord Danny, signing out.